Like yeah, from the building you're seeing is the McCoffin uh, powerhouse. That is the powerhouse. This is the intricate we are. Project should be 40 megawatts and phase one is 20. So it, it would be a good thing to have extra uh, land in case we want to scale up. So this uh, 100 kilometer solution at this point is released by definition is a five year interim container isolation. Right. But not you only that, the, the advantage of release being at the airport substation is that we don't put any additional load on our high voltage load. I see. You see. Because right now we're already maxing the high voltage line. So if we put everything here, so it gives us an opportunity to distribute whatever comes from release on uh, different uh, official lines. So there is land for that release thing. What yeah, happens, there's that's land. The only thing is that there are two. Uh, the army was claiming it, and the community was claiming it. And so we need to find a resolution. And both are willing to do okay. The question is who do we deal with? So we're is between 15 20 megawatts oh, single side yeah. Yeah. because the other advantage of really they've really asked for they've asked for 25 hectares so that's what we're negotiating for okay. i don't think they're going to use all of it but it's adjacent to one of our substations so what you are suggesting here is because you have land for 40 megawatts despite the 20 megawatts and at some point of time either with private or somebody there's a potential for doing 20 megawatts there more I would, I would even like to see in the long run someone say we we'll add the additional twenty and do the more than and we, you know. But you need right to now it's just design and then hand it over to you guys. You rather outsource the. We, we have it more than for the first two years, I think, as part of the. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. What do you say, Anshu? So, so two questions. One would be. So what that would be so I think a rating of the, what goes back to 30, 35 tons. Okay. And solar panels. Sure, yeah. Okay. And and then the second one was that in terms of expansion that you're talking about, for that to happen beyond 20, you will need to upgrade your transmission to Monrovia or something, right? Because right now you have one thirty. Not 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 no it, the one thirty two is only the conductor. The substation is 66. The, su the substation transformers are all 66 feet. Okay. So we, we need to upgrade not only these transformers here, but the ones at the two receiving substations in Monrovia. Okay. So there are three substations that need to be upgraded to Monrovia. Yeah. The great thing is they designed the transmission line at 66 132, so we don't have to mess around with the conductors. Other way around, they first need prioritization of three substations, substations yeah. which DLSC cannot do. But I thought my understanding was that 20 megawatts of solar, because my energy wise is not that big, yeah. can be absorbed by this, yeah. but definitely not that full. So, if, yeah. do you need that substation augmentation before commissioning in a year? Or no, no, or we don't need it before. Exactly. But, but as we increase the capacity, we can see the LSC. I 
pushing the solar yeah. because you have that. Don't you think the task of which 20 megawatt land is for the private and all is something that is better to be done because now you have the award, you can negotiate and award it in the next few months. Mm -hmm. So from your side, you prioritize the survey yeah. and which part is for this 20 megawatt, which is uh, rather than for the vendor to come and take it. Well, no, but they have to work along with us. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, because we have to maximize the land space. You exactly. can't just have them go exactly. smack he, in the he, middle. He might come and say, I need this middle space yeah, yeah. because it's yeah. most convenient. That's, That's a good point. point. We need to watch. Uh, what do you think about the 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 solar um, PV here? I think that not too big. So I think that solar solar would be a possible. No <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, well, I mean, it depends. It depends on how low the water level goes and whether they can stay. I don't know how much uh, space uh, between the lowest. The level, yeah, yeah. I think that's something that we need to meter. Can you walk? Can you walk? In, in the lowest, when it's the driest, can you walk here? You can walk. It's quite deep, right? Yeah, I, I think that's a good assessment. But wherever in the dry season the land shrinks, Wherever you have a little bit more so perennial kind of a reservoir, then so we don't we don't use the, the maximal space. Then you, you allow yeah, exactly. we know yeah. we know where it ends. Right. Yeah. Okay, at the lowest inflow. <coughs> so we we measure from there and go in a bit, yeah. make some provision, and then we use that space. We don't move it right here in front of the dam. The bit further to the the turn up of the reservoir. So, I mean, it's, it's how many know. acres is that? Like, for example, at the lowest water level, and leaving a little bit of set off from exactly. the side, right? Yeah. Then, are we talking 20 hectares, 50 hectares? Well, a lot more because you're going up, yeah, upstream a bit yeah. of the river. Okay. Even in the dry side, we are in the dry side, right? Yeah, yeah, we yeah. are in the driest so side. Right? Dry, what's the surface area of the reservoir in the driest um, year? I, I don't know because we, we can still do a part of it we upstream there. We can a bit. do that a bit. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But that's a feasibility study you can yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. But so there's a limit of how much of reservoir you can do for solar right? Yeah, right. Because yeah. there's some kind of being basic and kind of that. So, 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 how much, yeah. so how much do you think is usable? I, if I'm not mistaken, it's about up to 20 25 percent of the total reservoir area can do for solar PV. 25 percent of the dry season value is what? 50, 100? I, I don't know. I don't know. We don't know. Okay. We don't know that I don't all. think we've done an assessment. Okay. Yeah, this okay. requires a good technical assessment. Yes. Okay. This device is quite big yeah. compared to the high the dam is quite big. Now floating is slightly more expensive than land-based solar, right? Yes. Yes, but right. it have a higher efficiency because the efficiency of the solar PV depends on the temperature. The higher temperature, the lower efficiency. You can pull on the water, it's much cooler and they have a higher and, and there's a water evaporation loss that's avoided, which is also significant. Especially yeah, I will yeah. tell you the fish can stay under the darkness. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they need flashlights. <laughs> All right. We can go to we go to the powerhouse. We can okay. do it at the powerhouse, or we can do it here. I think this is where do you guys? We'll need the solar. Uh, uh, um, I think let's go to the end and we'll see where the expansion of the powerhouse. So the visitors joining oh, us again nice. today is the twenty third of uh, March. Uh, 2024, uh, you see your oh, morning hour cutting. You see you're leading the World Bank Half Power dedication here at the McCoffey Hydro Power Plant, uh, visiting various sites here. So he's in the lead, he's taking the team around in and out. Thanks to uh, the President of the Republic of Liberia, which is, uh, who started this initiative uh, many years back, and he's been very, very supportive. Thanks to uh, the, uh, the World Bank for their support. So the tour is on, the guided tour is on now. We are on the intake. We are at the intergate is where we are the tour is present and ongoing. So let me just leave uh, in front of the deputy uh, lens of my minister is also here alongside with uh, Mr. Bacos Rabba, who happens to be the executive director GSD, GSD there at the LEC, also for me part of uh, the tour, rep representative from the lens of my ministry are also here. Uh, Amy Kankatler and uh, you know, Fali are also here and officials of uh, from the World Bank Hard Power Delegation are also here making uh, this guy the tour librarian journalist i also form a part of the the tour so 
it's all happening. Hey, hey, Gunnar is also here, Dominic Gunnar, William Thompson, and the uh, crew member of the High Power Dedication are also here. So, uh, let me quickly take this screen. It hurt to capture all of the happenings here. Yeah. So, it meant towards. This is how everything looks like. We're gonna have a kind of exclusive, uh, I think, inclusive interview and everything. So, Philip K. Fali, the senior communication manager, and you see this also forming part of this uh, dedication. So, we So, uh, let's see. More than like various energy cited for what? More than they cited for what? So from here, from the intake here, we're going to be visiting there where you see the powerhouse. We're going to take the camera to the powerhouse. Then. intake here once we've uh, broken down the concrete plug that's in here at the moment those two pen stocks will go down they will bifurcate it's a technically challenging thing so we're going to put the design of that bifurcation on the hydraulic steel work contractor uh, that's a speciality um, yeah so it means obviously the whole thing's got to be checked in terms of hydraulic because you see as you extend the tail race to the right if you align it with the power So the Liberian management team carry on the very seeds doing all they can to attract more to the phone and the support to improve uh, Liberia's long standing energy problems is an easy but these are efforts being exerted by the current Liberian management team to improve. 
of service delivery as well. Yeah, it's right there in the money. Yeah, sort of yeah, exactly. <laughs> plan for him. Okay, I, I guess I meant the... the house now. Right, Bill? Yeah. Now, now, now I meant the current uh, capacity of uh, the McCoffey Hydro Power Plant. Uh, so when the sort of farm plant is constructed, it's uh, going to help a whole lot. Also, uh, the construction of a new dam that is to be built there in Henning uh, region from addition more mines lower bone county. So a lot is happening on this library management team in the eye. Certain for progress, they are doing all they can to work. They solve Liberia's long standing, you know, energy problem thanks to the World Bank uh, for the 396 million uh, that has been uh, committed to the Liberian government through the AEC management. I was secured by the Liberian management team for service delivery. So we are doing on a guided tour, assessment tour. Uh, that has to do with uh, the visit of the World Bank Hard Power Delegation at the McCarthy Hydro Park. And yesterday we were in a uh, lower bone county district number seven, that in form and district where they went to the site where on up screen of the St. Paul River, the SP2 project, where uh, they saw where the new dam is going to be built. So it's all happening on the